tutorial on how to configure Xdebug for code coverage in PHP Storm. I have just two assumptions. They're pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, the first is that PHP is installed on your system, and the second is that you have PHP Storm also installed on your system. So installing Xdebug for code coverage and debugging your PHP scripts in PHP Storm is actually pretty straightforward. If you practice it a few times, you should be able to do this in just a few minutes. So step one is to install Xdebug. Step two is to configure PHP to not load Xdebug by default. If you have Xdebug loaded by default on every PHP script execution, it's going to slow down um, your system or slow down the script execution, and we just don't want that. Then what we have to do is add a PHP interpreter to PHP Storm and then configure PHP Storm to load Xdebug on demand. Finally, we need to set up a run configuration for PHP unit so that we can run our tests within PHP Storm and uh, with our tests code coverage. All right, so step one is to install Xdebug. So installing, installing Xdebug on a system is done with Peckle. So Peckle is a way of building and installing PHP extensions, and that is how Xdebug is distributed as a PHP extension. So Peckle, you can run this anywhere in your system. It doesn't matter, uh, and you don't need super user privileges or anything like that. So you can run Peckle install Xdebug, and it will generate a lot of very useful information. Uh, this takes about a minute to run depending on your system, and we can just wait effectively. Now, um, Peckle will modify your PHP INI to load the extension by default. And so we're going to need to back that change out once this is done. And we can see uh, how, that, how that works. OK, so if we run php-m, that will list the modules that PHP actually has. And we can see now that xdebug is available to us after we've installed it. So that is step one, install xdebug. So step two. Again, configure PHP to not load Xdebug by default. So as I was saying, Peckle will modify your PHP INI to load that module by default. So we need to edit our INI so that we don't load that module by default. It's pretty straightforward. So if you want to find out where your INI file is, which can be kind of difficult, uh, you run php dash dash INI, and it will give you a bunch of information about uh, where the INI file is, what the INI file is called, other directories that it scans for additional INI files. So you can see here that the INI file that we want to be working with is here in user local. So we're just going to edit that. You can edit that in any particular editor that you want. Uh, and you'll see up at the top here we have Zend extension equals xdebug.so. So we just want to get rid of that. And that's done. So now if we run php-m, we'll see that xdebug is not loaded by default. So what we have to do now is we have to create another INI file that PHP can load on demand so that we can have Xdebug available to us. So again, if we run php dash dash INI, you'll see that it scans this directory here. So that might be different on your system. On my system, again, it's in user local in conf.d. So we need to create a file that ends in INI for Xdebug. So this goes by a, a bunch of different names on different systems. I'm going to uh, just open up something that I'm just going to say ext and then xdebug.ini. And in here, I'm going to type zend extension equals xdebug.so. And I'm going to save the file. Oops. Uh oh, we might be stuck in Vim. Let's see. There we go, we got out. Now if we run php-m, we'll see that xdebug is there. And again, we don't want that. So what I like to do is actually just remove that file. That was useless. Uh, rm this file. So just forget that I did that. That's the laugh track. All right, moving on, php-m. Great. So what we have to do now is add a PHP interpreter to PHP Storm. So we, we do that by accessing our preferences. 
and we're going to search for interpreter. And we're going to select the PHP interpreter. You'll see right now there is no interpreter. So we click these three dots over here and we say add one. So this will list all of the places that it's found PHP. So I'm just going to select user bin PHP. If you want to know which specific one that you're running, uh, you can slip over to your terminal again and you can run which PHP. So I'm running user local bin PHP. A lot of the times this will be a sim link, especially if you're on Macs and you're using brew. Uh, so if you want to find out where that actually goes, you can uh, get a listing and if you use the one of these flags, ARL, it will tell you where that actually points to. It'll say that it's a symbolic link and this points to my seller for brew in PHP 7.4.3. So I'm gonna add user bin PHP. Actually, maybe I'm not. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say PHP 7.4.3, this one here. There we go. Now you'll see here that it lists a few things. It says the PHP version, it will say the debugger is not installed, and then it will tell you where it's reading the PHP INI file from. So what we actually have to do now is we have to tell PHP Storm where that debugger extension lives. So if you want to find out where that actually is, because uh, this can be a difficult thing as well, we need to find out where the peckle directory is. So if we come over here to the command line again, we can use php-i to find that information out. And what we actually want to grip for is the extension directory. So I'm just going to type extension in here. Oh, I'm going to grep for that. And we can see the extension directory here is user local lib php peckle and then 2019.09.02. Now this is the API version. Again, that's just the, the version of the API that xdebug was built against. So you can find that information out if you want as well, this time by grepping for API. And you'll see that the PHP extension build is API 2019.09.02. So again, that's the directory that we want to go to is user local lib PHP peckle 2019.09.02. So I'm just going to put that in my clipboard. And then I'm going to click the little folder icon here. And that's going to open up a window to look for. So a nice little shortcut if you want to go directly to a folder in Finder is Command Shift G, and that opens up a way that you can go directly to a folder. I'm just going to paste in here. No, well, I guess I'm not. So let's swing back and user local lib PHP peckle. All right, user local lib PHP peckle, uh, and then 2019.09.02. 2019.09.02. And we'll see xdebug is right there. And we'll open that up. And now you'll see that it does load xdebug version 2.9.6. So I want to apply that and then say OK. And then finally OK out of the preferences. So that added a PHP interpreter to PHP Storm and then configured PHP Storm to load xdebug on demand. That was those two steps there. The final step we have to do is set up a run configuration for PHP unit. Now, if you click run here, you'll see edit configurations. And that will give you a number of templates that you can select from. One of those is PHP unit. Now you can do this manually like this if you want, but I don't like generally doing that. Um, there's a lot of options here and I just don't want to get any of them wrong. So I'm going to cancel out it here and I'm going to open up just my project view. Uh, that's command one that opens that up. Command any of these buttons, I believe, uh, opens up like if I do command seven, yeah, that opens up this, the structure. So command one, again, opens up, or at least it should, uh, opens that up. So you'll see we have a PHP unit.xml here. Uh, all you really have to do is right click on that, and then you can go to run PHP unit.xml, and that will run all of the tests that are listed in your PHP unit.xml file, which for this, uh, this is the Gilded Rose example that I did for the Laracon. You'll just see that it looks in the 
test directory and looking for things that have test.php. Now, so that did create a runtime configuration for PHP unit and it filled out a number of things for us, which is actually pretty good. So I'm just gonna cancel out of this again. Now, running coverage. So let's open up the tests. So these are the tests here. Let's give ourselves a lot of space here. Uh, if you scroll up to the very top, you'll see we get these little icons here. If you click them, you can run the Gilded Rose, you can debug the Gilded Rose, or then you can run with coverage. So for the Laracon talk that I was doing, I was using Command Option R, and that just brought up a little context window for the run configurations that I have. And then you see that there's just a little arrow here, it's just hitting over and then moving down to coverage. So I can run that, and then it opens up generally in a larger window, the uh, coverage statistics that it's got. So we can bring this over here and we can see 100% of files, 100% of lines. Now uh, we can dig into here and we can go to the gilded rows and again uh, you can see all the coverage that we've got. And so yeah, that is setting up xdebug for code coverage in PHP Storm.